This is today's reading of the Vermilion Valley Vineyard devotional book, Walking with Jesus. My name is Tommy D, and my devotional message comes from John 1:35 to 2:13. These verses have Jesus gathering his disciples, those whom he chose, and also is the telling of the miracle of turning the water into wine at a wedding. Two of these disciples were John the Baptist's own students. They immediately followed after Jesus when they heard John say, There is the Lamb of God. I'm sure the disciples were familiar with the teaching of Genesis 22, when God provided a lamb for Abraham to sacrifice. These two disciples told others, We have found the very person Moses and the prophets spoke about. What did Moses have to say about this one that would come? Let's look at Deuteronomy 18 verse 18. I will raise up a prophet from among the brethren like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. I can't help but wonder what John the Baptist's thoughts were watching his students simply walk away from him. I think he smiled. Because I know what Jesus said about John. There was none greater born of a woman than John the Baptist. Yet John's students left him, and John said not a word. What was so great about John? The very words he said about Jesus, he, Jesus, must increase while I, John, must decrease. These very words are true for all of us today. I must say before Jesus it was all about me, 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 me. I did what I wanted, when I wanted, and doing this put me in the darkest of all places. Like so many throughout time, I have to get outside of myself before we cry out for help. That was me and Jesus was waiting. I now know he is always waiting for any and all. Now I have him out in front of me. His simple yet incredible words have guided, changed, and saved me for myself and this world. These simple and incredible words are for any other ears to hear. He simply says, follow me. I am walking away from this fallen world and its ways and following the one that is the way. Just as the disciples did. We should all know about Jesus turning water into wine. I think a lot about this passage because I drank a lot of wine and liquor. It was one of the things that led me into the darkest days of my life. Many people think since Jesus turned water into wine, it must be okay to drink it. I had this same thinking, it is okay to drink some, but not all of it as I did. Many like myself have an O-off switch or moderation button when it comes to drinking. I know from scripture the Lord has nothing good to say about the drunkard because I was one. But with the Lord's help and his calling me to be his disciple, I had to put that behind me, along with other worldly ways. I do think much about this wine Jesus made from water. I'm sure some that drank it were drunk, maybe drunk as a skunk, as they say. But personally, I believe they became instantly sober and had some kind of buzz they had never experienced before. Their stumbling fog became walking straight and thinking clear. Their bad attitude became gratitude. Any anger into bliss, from lustful to loving thoughts, from wanting more to being satisfied, from a filthy mouth to a faithful heart. I look forward to this wine with Jesus one day. He did this great miracle before it was his time. Yet he still did it, just think of the greatness, when it is his time to come, and he will do it. Come, Jesus, come.